What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I wanted to share an important tip for organizing your screenshots on Samsung Galaxy phones. Now we all take a lot of screenshots and save it in the gallery and whenever we want a particular screenshot, it becomes a little difficult to search it. Now here is something you need to do as soon as you take a screenshot. Now let's say I'm reading this particular article here and I want to quickly grab the screenshot. As soon as I grab it, you see at the bottom you get this uh, toolbar here where you have this hashtag symbol. Now this is for tagging a particular screenshot that you take. Now let's say let's do this again. I've got this tag uh, icon here. I'll tap on this and you see we have got tags available right here. It will suggest some tags over here based on the content which is available on this particular page. You see we have got Samsung internet, product advertisement, flagship, Samsung Galaxy book, phone, Galaxy, Samsung, flexible, Galaxy book. So these are all based on the content which is available on this particular page here. Let me show you. This is all about Samsung Galaxy book 5 and as soon as I take a screenshot and tap on this tag button here, you will see all these suggestions right here. Now you can select the tag from these options or you can create your own tag. Now let me create a new tag here. I will type Galaxy Book. Uh, you cannot have a space in between so you have to uh, continuously type a word. Let me correct this Galaxy Book. Now uh, you see uh, Samsung Galaxy Book is also available here. I can just select this or you can type your own uh, keyword which will help you search these screenshots inside the gallery. Now I'll just type save. Now let's go to the gallery application. Now the recent screenshot is obviously right here. I don't really have to search it but uh, after a few days these screenshots will be difficult to find it will get stuck somewhere in between in the images uh, after a few days and we can also go to album and tap on screenshot you see I have got plenty of screenshots available here and it becomes very very difficult for me to search it now since I have tagged the screenshot what I can do is I can just go to the search here and I can search the uh, the tag that I have just saved. Let me search Galaxy Book. You see it is showing me the tag uh, right here. I will tap on this and that particular screenshot is showing up right here. Now let me just open this and show you. You see this is the screenshot we took and since I've tagged it, it has become very very easy for me to search this. So make sure whenever you take a screenshot, just tap on this tag uh, icon here. We got plenty of tags here. It is recognizing that this is the home screen of One UI. It says One UI home here, screenshot, gallery, WhatsApp, overcast, messages, uh, and all this is available here. I will just select One UI home and tap on save. And it becomes very easy to search these screenshots. Now let me just search for One UI home. You see the tag is right here. I'll select this and the screenshot is available here. So it is so easy to search the screenshot. So make sure you tag every screenshot that you take. Now let's say if you have taken a screenshot from a particular web page, then you can also access that, that web page on that screenshot itself. Now let's say I have just taken this screenshot here. Uh, this is the one which we took. Now here at the bottom you see we have got option go to website. I can just tap on go to website to open this particular page. So the, uh, the website link will also get embedded on the screenshot, which is just fantastic. Let's go to the next step. Whenever I take a screenshot, you see I have got this delete button right here. I can tap on delete if you do not want that screenshot. And this delete button can be added using the good lock module. Let me show you how to do that. Let's go to good lock here. Let me tap on life up. Here we have got nice short module. Let me tap on this. Right here you see we have got add delete button. It says add a delete button to the toolbar so that you can delete the incorrectly captured screenshot immediately. Now if you enable this, the delete button will appear here. If I disable this, you see the delete button has disappeared. Now I'll just enable this. You see we have got delete button right here. Next, we also have an option called disable crop snapping. It will disable crop snapping when editing. Let me tell you what exactly this means. Now let's say I'm taking the screenshot here and I will tap on crop. Now you see when I'm cropping this and let's say if I want to crop this particular image here, whenever I bring this up here, it'll just get snapped to this border here on this particular image. I'll do this from the top here. You see, I'll just bring it here and I will just drop it over here. You see, it just snaps onto this image. Even on the sides, it, it will do this. You see, it is just snapping onto the image. That is called crop snapping. Now you can disable this if you don't want this feature, but this is a very useful feature. I think you should uh, keep it enabled. But just in case if you do not want this, you can always remove this crop snapping feature using the good lock module. Now let's move to the last step. Let's say if you're taking a screenshot here and if you want to crop this, and uh, if you want to save this particular image, when you crop it and download it, 
This will be cropped in lower resolution. So I don't suggest you to save this cropped image right here. Instead, what you can do is take a screenshot, just go to the gallery. You see, we've got this image in gallery. Now you edit it. Now let's say you want to crop this image. Now when you try to save this image, you see it asks you to uh, keep the current resolution or to increase the resolution of this particular cropped image. The image will look sharper, but it will also take up more storage space. If you want a higher resolution image of this cropped area, then you can uh, tap on increase resolution. This will increase the resolution of the image and it looks much better than the image that you crop while you take the screenshot. So don't crop it while you take the screenshot. Take the screenshot and get into the gallery, select the image and then crop it and select higher resolution. That's another feature we have got on Samsung Galaxy phones. Let's move on to the last trick with regard to screenshots. Let's say if you've forgotten to tag the screenshot and it is very difficult to search that screenshot inside the gallery. In that case, all you need to do is remember the text which is on that particular screenshot or the image which is on that screenshot. Let's say I want to search the screenshot of this change log, then I can just go to the gallery here. I will search for update and tap on search. You see, all these uh, screenshots which has got this update information will show up right here. This particular screenshot has update mentioned here and this is a change log, update change log of Samsung Galaxy phones and this is showing up right here. All those screenshots which has got this word update will show up right here. Let's try this on uh, some other uh, screenshot here. Now let's say I want to search this particular screenshot. Uh, this has got orange and I remember that on the screenshot there is orange. Uh, so let me just search for orange. Let's see what happens. You see, we've got all those images in orange color and we have got this particular screenshot, which also has this orange. This is just fantastic, isn't it? You can just search by keyword or you can search the images by color as well. And it becomes very easy to search these screenshots if you are using the text or the color or the object which is available on the image. These are some important tips I wanted to share with you guys with regard to the screenshots. Let me know what do you think. If you have any additional tips, do share it in the comment section. And if you're interested in this wallpaper, I have left a link for that in the description. Go ahead and download it. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. A lot of you guys watch my contents, more than 80% of the viewers have not subscribed to the channel yet if you subscribe you'll get to learn a lot about your phone and watches it will not cost you anything but if you subscribe it is going to help me it will support me to uh, sustain this channel so go ahead subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye